Hi, this is Dan at Basements101.com. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to take a normal light fixture. Uh, this is just a regular fixture like would be on a ceiling. And we're going to show you how to put it on a switch so you can just use a switch to flip it on and off. This is just a regular fixture, one you would have on a basement ceiling, for example. It's got a pull chain on it. The pull chain turns the light on and off. And if you've got several of these in the basement, you go through the basement and you just flip them on and off. What we're going to do is we're going to put a switch and mount the switch on a wall, show you how to mount the switch on a wall so you can flip a switch and turn this on and off and not have to pull these chains to do it. This is just a regular light fixture. I've got it turned a little bit here so we can see it, but it's basically just a fixture that would be on the ceiling. And we've got power going to it so we can run it. I'm going to shut the power off now so we can turn it on. And we're going to take this part and I'm going to show you how to wire it up so the switch turns it on and off. Okay, we've got the power off now and we've got the camera moved a little closer so we can see what we're doing. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the light fixture off. Uh, generally you're probably going to want to take the light bulb out first just so you don't break it. We're going to take the light fixture off. I'm sure I've got the power shut off to this so I don't have to worry about getting shocked. We're going to take the light fixture right off of there. And when we pull the light fixture off, what we're generally going to find is two wires going to the fixture. It's going to be a colored wire and a white wire. Now the colored wire, if you can see that, can be black, blue, red, yellow, orange. It could be a variety of different colors. But generally you're going to have one wire that's colored and one wire that's white. The white is a neutral wire. We're not going to do anything at all with that. This is the white. It goes to a pigtail. We're not going to touch that at all. What we need to do is we need to take a switch and we need to find this black wire and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the switch and we're going to divide this black wire so the power comes into the switch on one side and goes out on the other. So if I took this, this thing apart right here like this, just take this wire nut apart and once again make sure the power is off and untwist these things and we put on the switch we put the power coming into one side of the switch and then the power going out the other side this is basically what we're doing when we flip that switch on power travels through the switch and goes to the light we'll turn the light on when we flip it off power travel the power stops traveling and the light stays off so basically we're going to mount this switch but what we're going to do is run the wires out of the box and take the switch and put the switch somewhere else so we're just extending these two wires to go to the switch is all we have to do Okay, now what we've done here is I've taken another wire and I've just used a piece of uh, Romex wire here, taken another piece of wire and I've added that into the box because we need a couple more wires in here to go to the switch. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a couple wires in here. We've got the ground wire. I'm going to connect the ground wire back there to the ground screw. I'll hook that up in just a minute. And then I'm going to take the black wire. This is the power. This is the power coming into the box from the breaker. So I'm going to take this power and I'm going to connect it to this black wire that's going out to the switch. I'm going to hook that up. I'm not going to do anything with this white one yet because that will eventually get hooked to going back to the light fixture. But I'm just going to hook this black one up going out of the switch for right now. Okay, now what we've done is I've taken a piece of Romax and I've added it into the box so we can add the switch to it. We're just using a black, a white, and then a ground wire. This has got three, three connectors in it, so that's all we need. Now, I've taken, this is the original black colored wire that comes in from the breaker box. This is my hot wire, and it was connected to the light right there going to the light. What we're going to do is we're going to disconnect that, and we're going to take the same black wire going out, and that's going to go out to the switch now. So we're going to take the new piece of Romex, and we're going to connect the two colored wires together black, red, whatever you've got that would go to the colored wire and then we've got the new piece of white Romex coming in. Now what we want to do is we want to mark that so that we know it's a hot wire now because it's going to be hot coming back from the switch. This wire goes out to the switch. I'm just putting a little piece of colored electrical tape around it and then I'm going to take the other end that goes into the switch and I'm going to do the same thing so we know on this end it's going to be a hot wire coming out. Now this white, this white wire is coming back from the switch, so the power is going to go out to the switch, turn on or off, and then coming back. So we're going to hook this new colored wire up to the black, and that goes to the light now. You 
Just connect that together. Now remember we didn't touch the white wire going into the white the white wire going into the light. We didn't have to touch that at all. Now we're going to put that all back in the box so the light's all back in there and then we'll wire the switch up. Okay, we've got the light all put back together. Now all we need to do is wire up the switch. Normally this would be inside a switch box, kind of like this one is, but because we're doing it outside just to show you how it is, I'm just going to hook it up outside so you can see the connections. You're going to take the black and your new color wire, which was the old white one, and you're going to connect them both to the switch, to the two brass terminals on the switch. It doesn't matter where, which one goes where because the circuit, the power is going to go through the switch either way. So it doesn't matter if it goes through this way or that way, it's still going to go through there. Just want to be sure you use a regular switch with two brass terminals on it. And then we've got the copper wire which goes to the ground wire on the back of the switch. So that goes right back here. We'll just curl that and hook that up right there on the switch. Goes right there. The ground wire always goes on the green terminal screw. Okay, now we've got this switch all hooked up. Uh, we've got the hot wires hooked on both sides. We've got the ground wire hooked to the back of the switch. And normally this would all be inside the switch box, but we it'd be inside a switch box like this, but we haven't put it in there yet. We're just leaving it out so we can show you what we're doing here. So now we just turn the power back on. Got a double switch on here so I can shut the power off. We turn the power back on. You put the light bulb back in. And then we just flip the switch and we've got power. Basically the power is coming out. Power's coming in here. It's going through this wire, going to the switch, stopping right here if the switch is off. When the switch is on, it goes through the switch, goes back to the light, and turns the light on. So it's just flipping the light on and off. And then we are all done with this, so we want to make sure the light pull chain's on and we can just remove the pull chain from the light if we want to. Or you can leave the pull chain on. The pull chain still works. You can still use the pull chain to turn it on and off, or you could use the switch on the wall as long as you've got it on. So that's basically it. Put this back in the box and turn the power off, put this back in the box, and we're all set. Hey, thanks for watching my video, and as a reminder, any of the uh, parts we use uh, can be found on our website. Any of the tools, the parts we use can be found on the website. And uh, we only do this outside of the box like this when we're sure the power's off. This is only for instructional purpose. You should always be inside a box, have everything properly grounded when you do it.